to catching up with the walkers. Thanks for stopping by. If you need a good Honda minivan seat, I've got one for you. Because Cassie does not want it, does not need it. Right? For now. For like maybe 40 minutes. Because she's taking the van van, the minivan, to get something. You want to tell them what you're getting? I finally found a Narragansett, Narragansett, yeah, turkey hen for Tom Henry. All right, so this is coming from the poultry auction she just went to and got Lily and the 11 chicks. Well, it wasn't at the auction. I contacted the guy that runs it and he found me found me one. Yeah, but it's, it's the same guy that runs the auction. Yeah. And uh, he is in the business, sees them all the time. He got a couple and is gonna cut one loose for Cassie. Yep. So you gonna bring him along? Guess so. All right, well, let's show you guys the setup over here. Anything can fit in a minivan if the owner is bound and determined to make it fit. Yep. And Cassie has the determination needed. So uh, she's gonna go get the turkey. I'm gonna do the chores. And when we get back, we'll take you guys out there and see what Tom Henry thinks of his new bride. Yeah, I gotta see her and then maybe I can think of a name. Okay. What's So right now, what's, what's the other one's name? Uh, Tesla, isn't it? Is it still Tesla? This bitch, she's been around a while then. Yeah. So Tom and Tesla, so who goes with Tom and Tesla? Another T name maybe? Wow. Tina Fey? Tina. Tina? I kinda like that. I kinda like it too. So while Cassie goes and gets this new turkey, I'm gonna catch you guys up with what's been going on on the farm today and what is going on with the animals. But first, I have the trailer hooked up, not because I got any animals, but I do plan on hauling some animals in the next few days. And to do that, you need a trailer. But I've been having a little bit of a problem with this trailer. Um, every time I hooked it up to the other pickup, it blew a fuse in the tail lights. So I took it, got it worked on, got the tail lights. There was a short um, in back in the back of the trailer, and there was also um, some bearings that had to be replaced. So luckily, all it's fixed now, and it is ready to go, except. Uh, over here where he replaced bearings and he actually swapped um, the tire. This one was getting a little bit of worn on one side. So he put my spare tire on down here. But I just noticed when I push in on it, it moves quite a bit. So I'm going to have to check the air pressure on that. And so I will say while getting a trailer repaired is expensive, it is important because you're putting your um, welfare and the animal's welfare at risk if you have problems. So you don't want to be stuck on the side of the road and you definitely don't want um, your brake lights not working so somebody comes up behind you and rams into the back of you. Because usually when you pull livestock you kind of have to go slow anyway. So making sure the trailer lights, the brakes work and everything is a big, big plus. Um, that's one thing that we always encourage, always try to do ourselves. So luckily I was able to drop the tailgate while the trailer is hooked up so I don't have to unhook the trailer to get my feet out because I'm going to need the trailer tomorrow really soon you guys got any guesses what are we doing tomorrow with the trailer guesses put them down in the comments so I'll give you guys a quick update on the sheep uh, we have Wednesday that is now tell us so she's doing good and then let's see this tail oh it's just barely hanging on I think but Carrie's tail should be falling off soon. I don't know exactly how long it takes, but they are doing awesome. In here eating. I have them in their little creep feeder. And of course, uh, we don't have any new babies to update you guys on yet. Let's get out here and check. The only other one left is right out there. And we don't know 100% that she actually ever bred. She would have been a little bit on the young side. So if she didn't breed, that's fine and breeding next season will be fine with us. So, if we have another baby, great. If we don't, then that's A-OK. -okay. Sheep get so big, their wool gets so big, uh, they're really kind of hard to tell. So, I mean, there's a lot of this right here that's wool, wood, uh, wool, and it's just hard to tell. But, both of the lambs are doing awesome. <laughs> and, yes, Tom Henry, you're gonna get a new friend. You just have to be patient. Patience, my, my turkey friend. She's coming, I promise. 
So today we are gonna feed the alpacas in here. If this gives you guys any hints about what's going in the trailer, we're gonna lock them off and keep them in here so they can't escape. So I'll have to feed the donkeys and try to get them out and put them in the other pen. June! Dolly! Come on, girls! Patsy! We're not gonna eat in here. We're gonna bring you outside, okay? Come on, babies! This way! About time to uh, take that hay bale out. Or at least take the ring off. That way they can reach around and get it. Come on, donkey girls! I sure wish some of you guys would have babies. They'd be cute. None yet. We're hopeful. As long as Cassie didn't get uh, taken whenever we bought all these, they were supposed to be the three in the back, not Dolly. We bought Dolly at um, the auction, but the rest of them were supposed to be bred. Uh, but we'll find out once we have a baby. All right, is that better, June? You got a baby in this belly? Huh? You got a baby in that belly? We'll wait and see. So Missy and May May are still enjoying this, I don't know, 25 acre pasture all to themselves. The girls are doing good and we don't talk about it very often, but look how big May May's horns are. Missy's are growing too, but May May's are a little bit ahead of her. May May. It's just amazing how fast they grow once they really start going. Those are probably, I don't know, close to close to a foot on each side. It's hard to tell from this video, but they were really getting there. Shelby, did you steal one? Shelby's always looking out. I just treated Shelby and Joe today for fleas and ticks. It's that time of year. Got to start making sure their flea and tick treatment is up to date. And a little update in here in the barn. We've got, been pulling out the bus seats out of the uh, schoolie, so I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with these, whether they're going to go to auction, if they would actually sell, or put them on Marketplace. What do you guys think? Maybe I should put them on uh, Craigslist and just see what happens, Facebook Marketplace. And then if that doesn't work, then take a few to auction. But worst case, I could recycle them. They do have some metal in them. And then the hay of the hay barn still have quite a bit left which is a good thing uh, we'll be able to keep it in here and save it for next year and we might only have to bell one time in the coming year instead of belling twice so this has always been the intention of having a hay barn is being able to store hay year over year so um, say we keep 30 bells in here after the after we're done with this year if we have a drought or we have a hard time with a the hay meadow, um, it just doesn't produce or something like that. Or say we have a family member that comes short on hay, I would love to always have a little stockpile in here, extra hay. Um, being in the dry like this, it's not gonna lose very much protein year over year. So that's one good thing about having the barn now is we're set up for hay. So that is uh, one thing. Also, we're still feeding range cubes. I'm about to go out and feed the cows. Uh, one thing about cattle right now, don't be deceived by all the green grass. So while the grass is coming on, um, they're out there grazing a lot. They like chasing that green grass. There's not a lot of substance in it, not a lot um, to withstand the cows. So they still need extra protein added to their diets and uh, make sure they have plenty of calories, especially those cows that have calves on them. So I'm gonna get out there, let's feed the cows and check on them. So I really do enjoy sharing with you guys uh, the cattle because it gives me time to get out here, take a look at them, make sure everybody's doing okay. Rusty's doing awesome. Blackberry's being a good mama, giving plenty of milk. Hey, Blackberry. Hey, girl. Salt, you have piles of cubes. Just go over there and eat. Hey, Geronimo. Geronimo. You can pet on Geronimo a little bit. Make sure he's kind of stays tame. Ariba. Sequoia. Sequoia. 
Hey, buddy. Yeah. Let me touch him. And we officially gave her a name, Little Bell. Bell's doing good. Hi, Bell. Houston, we have a problem. We have two chickens out. So, don't know what's going on with that. The fence is on. They must have uh, got excited and flew over. So, I wanna see if I can get them back in. Usually they'll go back in once I start feeding. But, uh, let's see. Watch out, Shelby. So Cassie's saving these eggs right here. These are the American breast eggs. They laid her three today. So I'm gonna try to keep these separate. But uh, let's see if these chickens will come back in. Come on. Go on, go on. No, go, gotta go the other way, girl. Go the other way. Go, 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 go the other way, go the other way, come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, so they're back in. That's the thing, when they do get out, these chickens are so tame, they are pretty easy to get back in. Luckily. Don't know how they got out though, they must. So I just finished gathering eggs, and 28 eggs is what we got today. I'm get them out here in the light, maybe you can see them better. 28, they look awesome. Plus those three we got, so that's 31 total uh, on the day. Not too bad at all. So she made it back, but no video, right? I failed y'all. I was just trying to hurry. So, turkey's here. <laughs> All right. She's real pretty, she's about a year old and come from a local farm. So like Gary said, the guy at uh, Peg's poultry auction helped me find her. But what they pride themselves on at their, uh, their auction is farm raised birds. So no sick birds are allowed. Um, if you bring stuff that isn't any good, you won't be welcome back. And so he knows a lot of people and he reached out to somebody and was able to, to find this bird for me. So I appreciate that. They have their auction in Pegs, Oklahoma every third Saturday at one o'clock. So I uh, plan to go to every one of them that I can because I like that you can find quality birds and you don't have to worry about where they came from. Don't have to worry about them croaking the next day. <laughs> yeah. So you all will also notice there's a change in the background. There is. there is now a bus, and if you guys want the update on that, you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow, uh, or look back at the last video. No, wait till tomorrow, Walker Farm Fam. So that's what's going on with that. Yeah, tomorrow Walker Farm Fam, bus update. All right, you ready? So we're gonna get this in the uh, little- Official transporter? Yeah, the official transporter with wheels, and we're gonna go out and Clip a wing and release her with Tom Henry. So we're gonna try to take care of clipping the turkey's wings out here. That way Zena and Tom What's Henry's not bothering us. What? What's that rail? Okay. So since these birds came off of a clean farm, good farm, or this bird, there's not more than one turkey in here. Um, I'm not gonna worry about segregating it, put it anywhere else, anything like that. She'll settle down. Just gotta give her a second. Looks like she already uh, got a. Oh, looks like she already has a, a wing clip. Oh yeah. Or both of them. Is that two or one? Uh, it looks like both of them are clipped. Yep. Whoever had her, they don't want them flying out either. All right. <laughs> so on. she's ready to go in. Something. A... She's bleeding a little bit. Tom, here's her new girlfriend, Tina. Tom. Meet Tina. <laughs> so, is it Narragansa or Narragansa, Cassie? I'm gonna look it up. Alright, Cassie's gonna look it up. She don't want to get it wrong. But, for some reason, she came straight to the shelter. She might be used to staying inside a barn or something. Hey, why don't you go out and see your boyfriend? So. Zena, come. 
So, can you see it? Yep, I can see it. So, however you say that, I'm gonna say Narragansett. Narragansett. Na Narragansett? Well, I wanna say Tom Henry's strutting his stuff and uh, trying to impress the new lady. Here. He says you can make this talk. Yeah. Okay. I think if you if you hold your hand finger down on the word and then uh, and then do go to more and then speak. Me. So Tina, oh, one of the ducks is getting after <laughs> Tina. So Tesla is a black Spanish that we got several years ago from Hidden Heights Farm. So she's a black Spanish. Tom Henry and Tina are Narragansett. Narragansett. So I don't know how she would say it. I can't remember how he said it, but I I think it sounds perfect to me, Cass. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. You're the one that's uh, trying to figure out whether it's right or not, right? Cause oh, he... I was gonna swing on that. Yeah, don't, don't hurt yourself, please. <laughs> All right, well. Did you ever smoke grapevines as a kid? Okay, Cassie is um, going into uncharted waters. <laughs> did I ever do what? Smoke grapevine as a kid? Negative, I did not. Okay. I didn't smoke anything as a kid, Cassie. I was a good kid. What did you smoke as a child? I've smoked grapevine before. All right, there's all kinds of things coming out about what Cassie <laughs> smoked as a kid. Apparently grapevines is the thing to do whenever you live it. It's literally lighting a stick on fire, but out it burns. Rose Prairie? Nope, never smoked about Rose Prairie. Oh. Oh, she's dancing a little bit. She's pretty. She's got that white neck. Now I can see it more on him. I didn't really mm -hmm. see it that much until I have another one like him to compare it to. So the royal palms are real, real white. I like the, I like the good balance in the Narragansett. <laughs> I can't say it now without second guessing myself. All right, well, I think she's found her uh, crew that she's going to hang with. Yep, they're not arguing. They're not trying to fight. He's just... Doing a little extra strut, and uh, hopefully she'll stay in. We'll know tomorrow. If not, Cassie's out a hundred bucks, right, Cassie? <laughs> Turkeys aren't cheap. This is one thing Cassie learned when she went to the turkey auction. Yeah, and Daniel said he had some blue slates. Someone came in, and he was going to take them to his auction because he was he wasn't going to raise them anymore. Someone came to buy a goat from him, and they wanted them. They're like, how much you want? And he's like, ah, I'll take a hundred for the pair. So he said the guy like bought him like that. And he was like, well, that was easy. And then he's the one that has the auction and that bourbon sold for like a hundred and forty dollars for one. Yeah. Which that bourbon was really pretty. Yeah. And big. But a blue slate pair, you're you're not gonna it's not gonna be that cheap. He yeah. didn't realize how high turkeys had gotten, I guess. Hmm. All right, well, I think we can leave them be. They're uh She's pecking the ground. She's probably happy to be out of the cage. And uh, they're just doing their turkey stuff now. So Cassie's just going to get some eggs and hatch them. Cassie's going to wait on eggs. Have some hatching eggs. Just saying. So you're watching this video on Wednesday. That means the Oki Homesteading Expo is two days away. Friday and Saturday. And we're going to catch you guys up before we end the video. We'll head inside and tell you if you're coming to this area, the things you must go do or see or places to eat and just what we're excited about about the expo. So we got the kids in bed. That means we're back in our bathroom. Just in case you didn't know. The you secret don't have is to out. Tell them where we I are. know, but we're not it's just it's the quiet place. It's on the other side of the house from all the kids and we can't wake them up in here even if Cassie gets really loud. They're not going to wake up. So, 2 days Cassie, you ready for this? Been ready for a year. Cassie was ready the day it ended for it to start again. Yeah. I mean, less than it was a year. in June last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 
Okie Homesteading Expo is Friday, Saturday. We'll be there bright and early. If you're coming through and paying cash to get in, you're going to see me for the first couple of hours. If you're going to the show barn? Yeah, I'll be at the, sh the MC in the show barn from 9 to 1, which there's a lunch break from 12 to 1, so I guess it's from 9 to noon. And then on Saturday at 2 in the main um, event center, I'll be talking about chickens. They didn't tell you that you're the lunchtime entertainment? Oh. Cassie okay. will be singing from noon to 1. <laughs> no, there's a band for that. I oh. saw that. Okay. So that's where we'll be. So if you guys want to come by and say hi, we really appreciate it. Please say hi. Please talk to us. Please shake our hands. Please let us give you a hug or whatever. Because without you guys, we're not Walker Farm fam. Because you guys are part of our family. You support us. So uh, even if you think I'm busy, because um, uh, when we're in, when I'm in seeing the stuff, sometimes people will say, well, you were busy. So just kind of be like, hey, talk to me later. Or hey, or can I get a picture? So I, I like taking pictures with you guys. So come take pictures with me and say hi, shake our hand, give us a hug, whatever. Yeah. Um, and we'll be, I'll be walking around, so I'll be going to check on Cassie later after I get done working um, some of the parking stuff. So if you see me walking across, just yell and say, hey, hey Gary, <laughs> come here, I want to talk to you. Just say that and we'll stop. Sometimes I know people um, don't want to approach us, but yeah. please do and please say hi. We really do appreciate each and every one of you, like Cassie said. Yeah, and then we get to put a, a face with the name. And then sometimes, you know, you might say, I'm so-and-so, and we're like, Ooh, and then... You know, it hits us later, or you tell us what your profile picture or something looks like. But um, it's hard to keep up with everybody, but it is very awesome to be able to put a name, put a face with a name, and meet you guys. Yes. So if you are coming to the expo, you're going to have to stay somewhere. Hopefully you already got that covered. And you're going to have to eat somewhere. You might not have that covered yet. So they're going to have some awesome food trucks yep. and different food options at the expo. But if it's the day before or the day after or, or supper. supper time, uh, let's give them a couple ideas, Cassie. Okay. In Locust Grove, there's the Country Cottage Buffet that you know Brandon over at Eddie Family Farm talks about. We're actually going to be going and eating with him uh, pretty soon at the cottage because he's in town and that's what we do. And Mazzy also absolutely yes. loves fried chicken legs, macaroni yes. and cheese, all the stuff there. So go check it out. So and that's it in Locust Grove and people from our church own it. It's nationally known, buffet, amazing. You'll love it. American food, and tell them Walker Farm Fam sent yeah. you if you do make it. If you want, let's see, Mexican food in Pryor, Oklahoma, where do they go, Cassie? Well, I would go to the Mexican restaurant in front of Walmart. Um, there's also one down um, 16 or yeah, 69 called Los Fuentes. It's good as well. Mm -hmm. I can't say the word of the one that's in front of Walmart in the parking lot because I just butcher it, but it's really good Mexican. Um, so in Salina, there's Los Cocos. It's really good Mexican. So. And if you want barbecue. Oh. Yeah, but you know, Scoops of Joy in Pryor has really good street tacos. Okay, I was just trying to keep it to two, My maybe bad. three. My you're bad. getting, like, you're going way out there <laughs> okay. now. Okay. If you want barbecue, JL's barbecue. JL's barbecue. JL's yeah. has um, some of the best barbecue in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. I think, and it's just kind of our local flavor. So I know everybody's different. It's probably not like oh top rated barbecue, yeah. but it's it's good For every single time. And around here, yeah. And then if you want pizza, like specialty p pizza or different than just Pizza Hut and Mazio's, there's a place called Salmonella's and Pryor. Sam. S-A-M, the letter N, and then Ella's, E-L-L-A-S. When you put it all together, it sounds like salmonella. It's not sam salmonella. Salmonella, that's a funny word. Yeah. Sam and Ella's pizza. But they have regular pizza, but then they got specialty pizzas. They got sandwiches. They got Ar artichoke bread. Ooh, yeah. That's really good. Yeah. So go there, check it out. It's just a... Like Cassie said, it's a kind of specialty. Yeah. The Dominecker, they have a pizza named after a chicken. Yeah. It doesn't get much and better than that. It's a chicken pizza, too. The last thing I can think of, there's lots of good places to eat. Yeah, there's but lots. between Pryor and Salina, there is a racetrack. 
and they have a restaurant in there that has a really good steak you can get all the way from like fancy meals to like just some burgers burgers so it's called the finish line it's next to the racetrack so um one last one uh -oh. if you're coming down highway 69 south of prior amish cheese house yep you have to stop by it's, it's not going to be like the most amazing meal out there yeah. soup salads um sandwiches. sandwiches paninis things like that but just going in there and looking at all the different stuff they have they have homemade ice cream they have a bakery next door called Nettie Ann's Bakery mm -hmm. that you can take home some Anything you buy rolls, in there is going to taste amazing. Homemade pies. It's all Amish made and it's delicious. So does that cover the food? I mean, there's lots of good places. If you just Google it, you'll find somewhere. But those are kind of some of the places we attend yeah, that, regularly. That's the places I would take locals if they come here. Um, and then they're my guests. I'm going to bring them to, to one of those places depending on... The type of food they may want. There's also all kinds of fast food. Prior has um, fat, all kinds of fast food. Yeah. If you want Chick Fil A, you have to go to Claremore, <laughs> one town over. But there is a Chick Fil A. Yeah. Which is good fast food. Yeah. There's not really any great fast Brahms. food. Prior. Oh, Brahms. If you're wanting fast food, um, that's actually kind of not. And if you're from somewhere that doesn't have a like Brahms, bad. yeah. I know Eric and Cody at Bar Seven. They've been to Brahms once and had a bad experience. But it's more, it's like a... F they're, on, they're on carnivore anyway. All they would eat was to be the meat. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to get anything. But there. Brahms is, is a good place to go. Yeah. For so, fast food, burger, chicken sandwich, ice cream. Good stuff. So I think we covered the most important part of the expo. That's, the, that's the food <laughs> if you're in the area. And at the expo, all the food trucks are amazing. Like, I want to eat at every one of them. I probably won't be eating at a food truck because... Well, I will at some point, but there's going to be a um, Indian taco, Bo or not Indian tacos, hog fry. Uh, hog fry. Is that both days? No, it's one day. I think it's okay. Saturday only. There's going to be a hog fry. Don't quote me on Cher that. Traditional Cherokee hog traditional fry. Truck. So I'm going to eat that one day. Another day, I might try a food truck um, because there's a lot of them, but it's going to be really hard. Probably, honestly, I'll probably go to the one with the shortest line because they all look good. So hopefully we have everything covered as far as the expo goes. If you have questions though, we will try to answer those. Just leave those down in the comments and we will answer them as we have time. Um, but here on Catching Up with the Walkers, we do try to cover any prayer requests you may have. You can also leave those in the comments. Cassie, you have anything? Yes, um, our friend uh, Nico and Natalie over at our Brown Farmhouse, their um, son, Pharaoh, he's gonna be having um, heart surgery coming up. And so go check out their channel, Our Brown Farmhouse. Gary will link it down below and tell them. She says I will, and then somebody will comment, hey, I don't see that link. Because he'll forget. I, so I remind him if he doesn't. Um, but I edit late at night. Go tell them Walker Farm fam sent you and that you were praying for a little Pharaoh and that everything goes great and everything that needs to happen happens and to calm mommy and daddy's fears. Um, so just be praying for them. And we do appreciate that so much. We hope you have a great day and God bless. Love you guys.